Greetings Jedi Traders, David here of TradingFibs.com to bring you the daily trend for end of the week 24, June 17th, 2016. As always, please seek financial advice when trading with your money. As these videos are for educational purposes only, support your knowledge in the market, see what's going through my head on any given day. Always make sure you have a solid trading plan and always manage your stop when placing a trade. Whoa. What an end to the week, guys. Uh, Economic-wise, data-wise, a full Thursday. We went through FOMC this week, finishing up with the quad witching uh, for today as uh, contracts coming to expire, one of four events during the year. You never know what's going to happen. Boy, the way we left that market yesterday was intense. A uh, move to the upside. So where did we go today? Take a look at the daily results. Uh, check it out. Uh, price action on the Friday for a couple ticks there at the end. Three market six setups, 126 ticks. That's right. It was trend number two. That was the session highlight there, and absolutely no simple, no no entry on that one. Just let that one slip by. So what did we look like uh, as the market opened? That's right. There was that beautiful move on the NQ pre-market. You could already see price action was already four charts in the red, and you had an entry. And that's right. I just let it go. Even the re-entries uh, to the downside. What was uh, going through my head? Well, sometimes multitasking or not yet in the game. Uh, but this uh, this was it. I uh, you can expect anything on quad witching day. But you got markets coming down again. ES and YM are not really moving yet. NQ is following through. You got four charts to the red. Sometimes you just got to hit the button and go for it. But you got an AD line that's going in the opposite direction you got divergence of the two uh, market internals advancers upside and you got a september contract on the nq going downside played a little bit on my mind there and i just decided to sit out of it so nq to the downside but it was trend number two all you had to do was wait another about 30 let's see that was market open this so it was about 10 21 eastern standard time there it is four charts in the red all to the downside and i even let this one slip by uh it was that ad line kind of played in my head today yep 5144 was all holding to the downside downtrend it was so looking for an opportunity for a move back to the upside and there you had it three charts in the green this was already in lunchtime hour price action trying to regain a footing up here buy action two bars above the t350 to the upside not a bad move for some ticks uh, to the upside. And there was that move with two contracts on, sitting a little bit uh, upside here with a little bit of chop. Again, protecting a little bit of a, take a little bit of a hit here, but not too much. Held up above the T350. Hey, we were in the green for the week, so willing to risk a little bit and just simply bailed here for uh, some substantial ticks there, including uh, end of the uh, price action at the end of the day. All right, there it was. That was that AD line move upside. Again, it was, uh, that's yesterday's price action here. We see today uh, that little lift there and a little bit of chop here, but really didn't come all the way down. It was this uh, down move at about 1020 uh, that got the market moving here. Again, there's a 10 minute chart, a five minute chart, obviously showing a little bit more noise, but uh, really uh, that move that we just saw to the upside, that was it. Couldn't push above that that AD line 750. So that move wasn't going anywhere and it just progressively chopped for the rest of the day. All right, uh, let's take a look at the five minute charts. It's price action. Anything significant here on the daily trend? Uh, price action on the crude holding to the 25 minute open range until the nice breakout. So crude finding a holding here today, finally pushing upside to the average high and then breaking up to around R3. Take a look at the ES. Again, never really looked back from the 25 minute open range high daily open. Came coming all the way down to find resistance at the cam line. Pushes back up at around the 25 minute open range low. Held there for a good amount of time. Pushed back up to the Globex low. Again, AD line at the 750 right here. Not going anywhere and finishes to the downside together with the other three indices. Again, you can see YM rejected here at today's open all the way down to the low and bounce back up again found some resistance here at the 25 minute open range low reject bounce up to the globex low again ad line 750 ad line 750 25 minute open range low on the nq never looked back there it was all the way to the upside found uh, yesterday's low was the line in the sand so that entire move yesterday that we saw yeah jump right into those fib levels we get those fib levels yep look at that 
daily chart daily chart amazing move we find a low yesterday bounce all the way back up close at the high what do we do bring it all the way back down one fib target today not bad five out of five this week didn't uh, manage to hit the es or ym but we pretty came darn close let's jump into the daily trend charts let's see how we did here crude again as we saw holding in the first 25 minutes, price action, early market, getting out push up after a uh, week of mostly down action on the crude closing out a daily gap that uh, it's been sitting there for a while. Price action lifts to the upside again. Best set up here, four charts in the green, 50 above the 144, so it was all in the green on the crude today. So there it is, nice move, buy signal, two bar pullback. If you're stopped out, you re-enter, stopped out, Look for the buy signal again. That buy signal, maybe if you kept your entry at the swing side, if you kept your stop at the swing size, which is usually the setup, price action, you would have been fine. If you got stopped out, you would have looked for the re-entry right here on the next bar or on the breakout. And there you go, green all the way up until the end on the crude. So not a bad day for the crude. Let's jump into the YM again. YM, we saw never really looked back from price action from the get-go. As we saw again, and it was it was the NQ that was really letting it rip here, but it was around 1021 where the YM finally started to move. So again, all this price action here, not really uh, not doing anything except chopping sideways, and then finally uh, there was uh, trend number one to the downside, trend number two. If you just moved your stop to the pullback, you would have been able to uh, gain a little bit more ticks. Again, the majority of the session, 50 below 144. Price action, technical momentum, market internal tried to push upside, but really chopped to the end quad witching day. So we end up to the day, T3 moving averages above the T350. It'll be interesting to see where we go into a Sunday open. And it was the beauty pick there. NQ together with Apple ripping to the downside. NQ, four charts in the red for the majority of the session. Here you can see on the left, price action from the get-go. T3, uh, 50 below the 144, keeping you in the trend with the HA bars. Let's go ahead and open that up a little bit. You can see the sell signals here to the downside, one after another, offering you an opportunity to re-entry or just simply manage on the way down. Now, one of the things we've been looking at, let me jump to our multiple time frames uh, charts that we've been looking at. Again, another opportunity is uh, just like uh, you might be looking at a 5-minute, 10-minute, 15, or a higher increment of charts. Here was the entry here on the market open on the NQ over here at 9.30 with uh, <clears throat> price action on the charts here. Or we can go ahead and pull up. Let's get the... Uh, there we go. Uh, if we pull back, we got three charts in the red. Actually, let's open that up a little bit more. There we go. So there you go. You got your sell signal right here. There's the T3 moving averages crossing over downside. You got a 534 crossover. You have a 50 below 144. So all charts in the red here. You look to your multiple time frames. If you're watching them, what do you have? You have a 15 tick here to the downside. This is a flex Ranko. All underneath the fit T350 at a 50 EMA, and as well, we're 20 tick range chart, longer time frame as well here at the market open. Now, if you're looking for a re entry, you still have confirmation on the bigger time frames that you're still in a downtrend. So you jump in on the re entry and you sit to the downside. And that really, in the end, was the best of setups today. As you can see, the NQ really never found traction on the higher time frame above the 50 EMA. So you leave all those long entries alone. And price action again really didn't get below that T3, uh, excuse me, below the T350 on a lower time frame. So you just leave that alone and you sit out the rest of the day. Now, you can see NQ really didn't have much uh, the rest of the session. Let's go back to the daily trend. Is that really was the move of the session as uh, NQ just struggled to find some footing here in the afternoon. A little slight uh, push up here on the T on the 5144 on a buy signal on three charts in the green. So perhaps a little scalp entry, not looking for anything that was really going to run away here. And we just pretty much finished out sideways with four charts, three charts in the red here. Take a look at the ES. Again, ES, similar picture. It was that 1021 move right there on the sell signal downside of the ES with a re-entry here. You have four charts in the red. It's all go. It's all go. 50 below 144. ES did find some footing in the afternoon, as we could see here on the upside here. Price action here. Three charts in the green. Again, three charts in the green and three charts in the green. Four charts in the green here to the upside. But again, AD line 750 held that and back downside. 
Take a look at the uh, gold. Gold again making some uh, whipsaw action after yesterday's move. We pull back here. Again, nice, smooth, controlled moves on the gold. Again, sell signal here. He might not have gotten you in, but a pullback with three charts in the red. Nice move down here on the gold. Buy action up here, crossing the T350. Pull back, bang. Buy signal to the upside again. It's not the entire move. It's about catching a piece of the pie. Nothing wrong with that. And finishing up on the 6E, Euro again, Euro with uh, upcoming Brexit. Uh, again, price action <clears throat> all over the place, Euro session. But again, nice buy signal here on two, almost three charts. For, uh, a, a soft pullback here on the two red charts. Put gives you a couple ticks to the upside. Back downside, back and really just waffled around this uh, T350. So no real clean entry on the, the uh, euro. As you can see, really the 5144 just pretty much closed it out. But again, overnight session, not bad with some setups to the downside with all charts in the red. All right, let's jump over the daily gaps. See how we're doing all across the board. Again, we closed out some daily gaps this week on both YM and ES and crude. Crude closed out the daily gaps. We've gotten rid of those. They've been closed out. We just missed that 2039.75 on the ES again. We still have open gaps down below, way below, and we still have open gaps up above. So what's going to keep us there? Well, we've got to look at our... Uh, four-hour charts take a look at our daily charts and see we are at volume profile we are still holding around that VPOC on the YM today again we finished a similar pattern here on the NQ today on volume profile again very uh, weak to the upside long tail not much to the downside so not a uh, healthy profile as we want to see price action on both sides of the mean here again most price action uh, very thin to the upside 70 percent of the day is trading within the range they're closing out the vpoc from yesterday 600 day vpoc on the es market down 2093.50 we might just perhaps uh, get back there and the uh, crude here as uh, vpoc shifted this week 48.30 and we pretty much that was the high of the session all right, let's take a look at the daily big pick outlook for the coming uh, uh, week as we move into next week. Again, always be ready intraday for both directions, but long term, uh, right now, 50 is just hanging above the 144. You can see we're crude. Not only did uh, it run up to its VPOC, 600 day VPOC, but also the 5144. So still in an upward trend as we've been uh, moving downside, closed out that open gap. Pretty nice. Uh, finding support at that 50 and back upside we go. Uh, we do have a uh, open uh, gap all the way upside here. We do have open gaps below, as we just showed you here, downside 40, 24, 37, 90. But as we move into next week, crude is still in a slight uptrend. We'll have to see what happens on Sunday, Monday. See if price action pulls back downside then, and we break that 50, we go uh probability of hitting those downward gaps is even greater if we're able to break above the 50 144 and we get this upswing turn then we look to the highs that were set uh this uh, last week or two weeks ago and see if we go even higher to the open gaps up above and taking a look at the three indices as we saw volume across the board pretty good above average today again price action on the nq Kicking it up to the 200, and that was it. AD line 750 right there. We didn't go any further finishing downside. Again, we're holding underneath the 50 in between the gap here. T3 moving averages. We've been in a downtrend now for two and a half days. 50 below the 144. So that's why I talked about yesterday. As long as we continue to hold underneath the 50, 144, we will continue to be in a downtrend. And it's going to take that price action to break above that 50, 144 next week to move upside to um, change that trend. So right now we hold downside and in the gap. Look for that 200 MA on both the ES and the YM as we have no further uh, lines down on the four hour charts. You look to the daily gaps for lines of support or at least uh, lines of resistance and then look for volume profile as well to close out VPOX as also lines of interest which includes everyday intraday, that's right, intraday FIB levels as areas or lines of concern and as well our lines of interest as well as the five minute charts where we watch every day just to generalization are we going for the globex low 25 minute open range where are we headed uh today is all based on the momentum all right that uh concludes today's daily trend feel free to stop by tradingfibs.com or any of my social 
media outlets to obtain more information as we head in to next week. And uh, we'll go ahead and do a weekly outlook coming up here. Uh, look at a couple of Fed speakers. Look to Janet Yellen on Tuesday and Wednesday. Look to that wonderful crude report. Ex existing home sales and that's right it's the brexit vote uh which is next thursday again uh might get uh you know quick reaction to that it's a long-term process whatever comes out but look to the global news for next week uh, my trading mantra, one simple strategy, any market, any chart, any time frame will keep you disciplined. You can find me every day on Twitter at Trading Fibs. And as always, I leave the crystal ball to the experts. I only trade what's in front of me and on my charts. And as always, leave your bias at the door when trading. Hey, guys, it's been a couple weeks since I uh, went ahead and did my futures ETF and market cap leaders. Going to try and get to that this weekend. Where, again, where I do an analysis of the longer term charts using the Thinkorswim platform. Covering markets like ETFs, uh, key indices, industrials, FX pairs see where we're at so a little bit of an update it's been a while and again make sure you click on the weekly supplemental which is a 20 uh, 98 not 28 98 page document approximately uh, giving you uh, more in depth of these charts uh, where you can see these uh, using uh, three time frames using the daily the weekly and uh, the uh, uh, monthly or sorry four hour daily and weekly uh, time frames all right have yourselves a blue zone day a blue zone weekend wherever you are hope you're doing well good day good night and good trading